what is up how is everybody doing uh, today we're out here working on the black dually truck um we're gonna address something that i don't like about the headlights <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to try to address here on the, the truck today is primarily to do with the headlights here. Um, the way it works from GM, the way GM originally designed these, when you go from high or low beam to high beam, the low beam lights go off. Why they do that I don't know. Um, I prefer to have as much light as I can see out in front of me. Um, so I'm going to try to address that today and the way I'm going to do it is with just a regular what was that? 40 amp 4 pin relay which is really nothing more than a, an electric switch to go from low current to high current and uh, we got a couple of connectors here and a screw and what we're hunting for here is the low beam and the high beam power feeds so when you're on low beam you got power running through this wire click your switch to high beam then you got power going through this wire so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that relay to feed power back into the low beam side when it sees power on the high beam side so should be a pretty simple install um, let's make it happen all right we're going to start out doing here just make a simple ground connection here for the relay so we know we're going to run a screw into our sheet metal here and on this particular instance should work just fine We'll loop our ground wire for our relay back up to our screw, run our screw into our bracket, boom, we have a ground. I always like to, when I make my crimps for, if you don't have, like these are a, a heat shrink style butt connector, you know, you crimp it, heat it, and then it, the ends shrink around it. This is just a regular uh, insulated connector terminal. So I always just, a uh, to clean it up a little bit. So a piece of heat shrink over your connection. Shrink that bad boy on there. And it seals up your, your connection in there. So, and it just cleans it up, makes it look nicer. Anyhow. One of my preferences. Now this, so the way this a four pin relay works, if you're not quite sure, if you look here, this is your schematic for how your relay works. So 85 and 86 pins, that's your, your switch. That's what's gonna turn on your relay. 30 is your constant, your battery voltage in. Or if you wanted to use it on like a on the ground side to activate an item you'd run your ground to 30 but in this instance we're going to be putting power through this it's not going to control ground just power and then 87a and 87 are your switches so from 30 to 87 this is 30 I'm sorry this is 30 actually it tells you back here on the relay I don't know if, if you can see it or not but each pin there has number next to it come on focus I don't know if it's gonna focus but you can see it there 30 87 yada yada so those numbers will correspond to these here so 30 in this instance yeah this is pin 30, so we're going to run fused battery voltage, constant voltage to this wire here. This wire 
when the switch is activated is going to come out and power our low beam headlight so we're going to tie that back into the low beam this is the ground for the relay and then this we're going to use the high beam voltage so when you click the high beam and it sends voltage to the high beam lights it's going to power this up activate the switch in here and allow current to travel through these two pins back into the low beam circuit pretty simple um, I know some guys wiring and electronics is not their forte and it's not mine either but uh, this stuff is is pretty simple in the way it works so anyhow let's keep moving on and let's get this job done installed there we'll clean up some of the wiring we'll put this back in the loom and wire tie stuff out of the way we got our fuse link here from our power wire runs up under a core support same deal here we'll zip tie this up out of the way and that goes up and pulls power off of that distribution block back there but uh yeah as you can see here we got our tan wire here is our low beam power and our light green wire is high beam so when the low beam is on power just comes right through and it goes to the low beam side when you click on the high beam the power comes through the high beam but it also let's see here activates the relay which then sends power back through the tan wire for your low beam side so pretty simple setup got a ground here um, don't over tighten this isn't real I over tightened it and it stripped it out so I had to redrill another hole no biggie this stuff happens so anyhow that's it and uh, seems to work pretty good let's check that out So now the only other one thing I want to do is I want to adjust these because the low beam is a little low. <laughs> uh, like it hits the ground like 10 feet in front of the truck. So uh, I'm going to adjust those which on these trucks the way you do that is it's not these. These here are actually the bolts that you take out, unscrew those and then the headlight assembly comes out but you're actually looking for down in there there's an adjustment screw and then down I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it down in there is an adjustment screw and one adjusts your your vertical you know up and down and the other one adjusts horizontal in and out so uh, we'll play with that a little bit um, Obviously, since I'm doing it in my driveway and I don't have a headlight aimer, I'm going to wait till it gets dark and then I'll mess with that so I can actually see where the headlight is aimed. So, anyhow, I'm going to finish up cleaning this stuff up. Um, as far as updates, in this video I might throw an update to the Novo or I might break this up and just let this as uh, a video about doing this uh, modification to the headlights on these this series truck so uh, but at work let's see we haven't done a whole lot to the Mustang um, we're waiting on getting some parts and stuff like that uh, the Nova is our primary focus right now because that guy wants that car back so 
so he can get his motor and trans and everything set up in it for next season. So we are working on busting that out. Pretty much all the sheet metal is, is done, ready to go. So we can start priming, filling, blocking, sanding, all that good stuff. Um, and the F100, uh, that we got the, the front sheet metal and the cab on and the bed. We're looking possibly the customer may throw a supercharger set up on that, like a, a Whipple charger. So we will see, time will tell. But at any rate, stay tuned to the channel and we'll catch you next time. I'm out.